isn't he? And maids know what guys like. Their business is making guys' dreams come true, after all. That means this delusion means that to be maid-themed. That would make sense, especially given that there's nothing but maids here, as far as the eye can see. But still no delusionscape entrance. This is just the way Akiba used to be. I'm actually getting kind of pumped. Akihabara did go through a maid boom not too long ago. It was the golden age of maid cafes, to be sure. So whoever dreamed up this delusion must really love maids. I, I need to tell Moetan again today that, that I'm back. Moetan, we'll be to together forever and ever and ever. Like him? I mean, this is Akiba. There have got to be 50,000 guys just like him. Well, that could be a problem then. But we'll worry about that later. Right now, we need to find Akari. Hey, Nana, what are you doing in a place like this? I'm out doing some shopping. What about you, Master Asahi? Oh, you know, just looking for someone. Another one of your surprisingly numerous female acquaintances, Asahi? I don't know if I'd call her an acquaintance, per se, but yeah, she's another maid from the same cafe as Moe. Name's Nana. It's wonderful to meet you. Nana Nanao, at your service. Th that's quite the name. That outfit looks really cute on you, too. Oh, please. <laughs> You're going to make me blush. The girl has a point. Speaking of, you haven't seen a redhead wandering around here by any chance, have you? A redhead? Yeah, dressed in white and really tiny. Probably, I don't know, less than 150 centimeters tall? You don't mean... You know her? I feel like I've seen her. But I also kind of feel like maybe I haven't. I... I can't entirely remember, actually. Well, that's mysterious. No, I must not have seen her. Now, hold on just a minute. But please, let me apologize for my absent-mindedness. Why don't I treat you to some English tea? In fact, I'll escort you and the mistresses directly to the cafe. Doesn't that sound nice? I'll say, let's do it. Asahi? Or not. Oh no, what's wrong? I can't, Nana. Maybe another time, when I'm not chasing someone down. Sorry. Shame. But please remember, Master. I'll always be waiting for you. Tell me, Asahi. Are you by any chance a maid otaku? Oh, no, no, not at all. I just drop by that cafe on a whim from time to time. They've got really good food, so... For someone who only drops by from time to time, those maids seemed awfully friendly with you. Aw, oh, man, you've even got Mippity doubting me now. Anyway, don't we have a girl to find? Shall we be off, mistress? Sh shut up! I haven't seen even a hint of her. It's starting to get pretty late, too. <sighs> well, that was fruitless. Any chance you can give me back all the energy I wasted looking for that girl? What if she's not even in Akihabara anymore? Hmm, I wonder. How about we call it for the day? I don't think fumbling around in the dark is going to do much for our luck. Hard to argue with that. But 
what should we do tomorrow? I vote we take a hard pass on the whole Chuny delusion scape. That hooded dude is 31 flavors of bad news. So, should we try to find the source of the meat delusion instead? That seems like the most logical option. I can't imagine it would take us nearly as long to find the deluser this time. I really don't think it's gonna be that easy. Remember how I mentioned there are like 50,000 Meidotaku in Akiba? I know, I know. But it's possible this delusion is coming from another source. Yes, it still could be a Meidotaku, but it might be a maid herself. Why would a maid create a delusion centered around other maids, though? An otaku just makes more sense. You said yourself that the peak of the Akihabara maid boom wasn't a terribly long time ago, right? So our deluser could be a maid with a story similar to mine. Someone who just wanted Akihabara to be filled with the spirit of maids all over again. I guess that does make sense. You're very persuasive, Mippity, you know that? <laughs> Assuming it is a maid, that brings with it a whole new set of problems. How so? I mean, there are still a ton of maids in Akihabara. There must be at least 20 cafes with 10 maids each. That's 200! Are we just supposed to go on some sort of maid cafe crawl, crossing each girl off the list one by one? Of course. Got any better ideas? Oh, Asahi, this is the part where you go, as a matter of fact, I do. And tell us about your perfect plan, right? Huh? No, uh, as, as a matter of fact, I don't. Well, maybe. Yeah, no. Maid cafe crawl it is. Like work is what gets us results, after all. Let's do it, Saki. I believe in us. We have to protect reality from the spread of these delusions. And I want some cute girl to call me Master Pinkoon. Why do I get the feeling that Team Dude isn't exactly bound for greatness on this particular investigation? Okay, so let's meet up on the side streets tomorrow. Shall we say one o'clock? No problem here. One? Did you say one? At least make it two so I can get an extra hour of sleep. And here I thought I was doing you a favor. I mean, I'm gonna come right out and say it. I have no confidence that I'll be able to wake up in time. Well, you better get confident because that's when we're meeting. Why don't you let me make sure you're awake in time, Asahi? Hello? Straight to your heart! Sorry? Let's hippity hop! Duh! Good morning, Asahi! This is Mippity Mop speaking! Ryu Mimose, age 14! Oh, yeah, I remember. This has been your morning, Mippity, just as promised! So, what you think, Asahi? Did I wake you up properly? Yep, I'm awake and full of energy! Thanks, Mippity! <laughs> Mission accomplished, then! Thanks again. I'll get ready and head over right away. Okay, we'll be waiting. Remember, we'll be on the side streets right by the maid delusion. I can't believe she had a special greeting just for me. I don't know why, but today feels like it's gonna be a great day. 